Here's a fact about SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob was originally going to be called SpongeBoy, but the eldritch creature of the same name did not approve. Here's a fact about Frozen. There's a popular rumor that the film was named so that when people search up Disney Frozen, the film will show up instead of a conspiracy that Walt Disney is cryogenically frozen under Disneyland. This is not true, however, as it is a well-known fact that Walt Disney is actually a biomechanical machine maintaining the Walt Disney Corporation in the shadows. Here's a fact about Street Fighter 2. Blanca is from Brazil and is stated to have gotten his iconic green look from eating too much chlorophyll. However, Blanca's design is actually based on the average Wyoming resident. Here's a fact about Bear in the Big Blue House. There was a spin-off series called Breakfast for Bear, where Bear would visit different children, learn about their morning, and have breakfast with them. This series was ran short because parents weren't big fans of having a bear in their home. Here's a fact about the Scrimblow catalog. After the series' success, the creator of the popular analog horror series, Alex Keister, created a parody called the Mandela Catalog, featuring popular internet memes such as the Intruder and the Germa Sus face. Here's a fact about Bloons Tower Defense 6. There's a reference to another game made by Ninja Kiwi. The Dart Monkey Tower may be a subtle reference to Bloons, an Angry Birds clone where you play as a monkey that throws darts at Bloons. Here's a fact about Xavier Renegade Angel. The famous Cookie Factory scene is actually based on a real experience by co-creator John Lee, where he accidentally mixed up cookie ingredients with tampons. Seven people died. Here's a fact about Celeste. There was originally going to be a level about the COVID-19 pandemic. This was scrapped as Celeste was released in 2018 and the pandemic wouldn't st happen until 2020. Here's a fact about Donkey Kong Country. Here's a fact about Spaceballs. The comb scene, specifically the part where the black people get a smaller comb, is a reference to racial segregation against black people from centuries ago. Luckily, it's a thing of the past, and people of darker skin color do not face it today. Here's a fact about Pizza Tower. Originally, the noise was planned to be playable. However, this was scrapped as the noise was exposed on MySpace for breaking pizza delivery trucks and destroying their pizza. However, he may become playable again once he serves his community service and fixes the destroyed pizzas. Here's a fact about Space Cleaner Cannon. There is no joke here. This is an ad. Go play it right now. You can achieve the dream by shooting rocks in space. Can you do that, Elon Musk? Here's a fact about Django Unchained. Near the end of the film, Dr. King Schultz shoots Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Calvin Candy. This was not because of slavery, but because Schultz didn't really like DiCaprio's character and did Django Unchained. Here's a fact about Star Wars. Actors Mark Hamill and especially Harrison Ford asked George Lucas to cut multiple lines from the film, such as, Stormtroopers are notoriously bad in bed, one view one me and Pong, and hey, wanna get to McDonald's lately? Here's a fact about Princess Mononoke. When releasing the film in the States, Harvey Weinstein got set a katana from the film's director, Hayao Miyazaki, with a note, no cuts. Miyazaki later said that if the film had been cut, he would have sent 11 pipe bombs and a giant mecha crab to attack Weinstein. Here's a fact about The Last of Us. Multiple names were considered for the infected, such as Shroomers, Fun Guys, and Sporeheads. These were rejected as they were fucking stupid. Here's a fact about Young Sheldon. Originally, Young Sheldon was going to be played by a young Jim Parsons, the actor for Sheldon in The Big Bang Theory. This was scrapped because Young Parsons was actually a terrible actor. Here's a fact about Crocodiles. There is no fact. Our producers just wanted to expand beyond pop culture. Um, Florida, am I right? Here's a fact about Gemini Home Entertainment. The episode Christmas Eve Party was named after the German stream of the same name. And here we have facts about first, not the onion moment. Yep, this fact is actually true. It just fit right in, you know? Here's a fact about gremlins. The gremlins were portrayed with puppets, animatronics, and stop motion and voiced by Frank Welker. This is because they were not able to get real gremlins for the film. Here's a fact about Minecraft. Herobrine, unlike what the legend says, is not Notch's dead brother, but actually. Herobrine is Mojang employee, Daryl's alive brother, who's 15 years old, and somehow hacks into Mojang's servers to put Herobrine into Minecraft. No matter how many times they patch him out, he always seems to come back! Here's a fact about Puss in Boots and The Last Wish. The long-winded insult from Perito the Goldilocks and the Bears was censored, but the insult was fully written out and went... Oh.
oh jesus fuck i don't think i can say this out loud holy shit who wrote this here's a fact about super mario the m on mario's hat does not stand for mario what it actually stands for i could not tell you Here's a fact about Five Nights at Freddy's. There's a one in quintillion chance for Golden Freddy to start twerking when he appears. No one has encountered it because it's just that rare. Here's a fact about Super Smash Bros. Super Mario was at one point considered for the crossover fighting game, but was scrapped after Nintendo sent the game's lead developer, Masahiro Sakurai, 11 pipe bombs and a mecha crab sent to him through the mail. Here's a fact about internet culture. Poe's law states that without a clear statement that a work is satirical, someone will go through mental gymnastics to take it seriously. As an example of this, check the comment section of literally any facts about video. Here's a fact about Guilty Gear. There's a character named Booket. I mean Basket. I mean Badger. I mean Bracket. I mean Budget. I mean Brisket. I mean Bridget. Okay, 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 got it right. Bridget is Trains Jedi. I'm just forget it! Here's a fact about Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku was at one point a mascot for Domino's. This is because she killed the Noin, Domino's previous mascot, in gladiatorial combat. She's also slain the Aflac Duck, the Honeycombs Monster, and the Doritos mascot. Never heard of the Doritos mascot? Thank Hatsune Miku for that. Here's a fact about if you give a mouse a cookie. Do not give a mouse a cookie. It, it caused this, like, chain of events that caused friggin' the entire Litter Channel headquarters to blow up. This is definitely... Not a way to explain why there's going to be like a hiatus of facts about videos for a month. No, 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 not true. No. Um, thank you everybody for watching so far. Here's a fact about Plants vs. Zombies. The game was originally pitched as Plant vs. Zombie. A game where a single pea shooter fought a single zombie. PopCap decided that this wouldn't be a very interesting, so they decided to change the name and add more plants and more zombies. Here's a fact about pizza. According to the creator of Pizza, John Pizza, pineapple is a good pizza topping. However, he also said that cheese, pepperoni, sausage, olives, and anchovies were also good on pizza. Clearly, John Pizza is insane. Here's a fact about Wendy's. Wendy's recently got into controversy for putting cyanide in their food. When we reached out for comment, they responded with L plus ratio plus bozo plus you like Madonna's. Direct quote, we didn't make a typo, plus kill yourself. We at the Litter Channel are never going back to Wendy's again. Here's a fact about Banjo-Kazooie. The idea behind Gruntilda rhyming every time she speaks was inspired by an experience by a rare developer in which she was cursed to talk in rhymes, which she is still forced to do even today. Here's a fact about The Lorax. The infamous song How Bad Can I Be was a replacement for another song called Biggering. This song was scrapped because it was too good for an Illumination movie. Here's a fact about The Legend of Zelda. The original games kept track of your personal information by asking for your name at the start of your journey. Surveillance state much? Here's a fact about Rango. The inspiration for making water being scarce the plot point in the film was the cast, crew, and animators being locked in their office without food or water for 48 hours. Here's a fact about inflation. What inflation are you thinking of? I'm talking about economic inflation. Sick freak. Here's a fact about... Spider-Man. Across the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man's in it. Sorry for the spoilers. Here's a fact about F-Zero. According to Shigeru Miyamoto, the reason why there hasn't been an F-Zero game since GX slash AX is because Nintendo wouldn't let him put a naked oiled up Captain Falcon in it. Here's a fact about atheism. Atheism is wrong because I am God! Bow down, you fools! Here's a fact about Scott Pilgrim. Originally, Scott was supposed to end up with knives instead of Ramona Flowers. This was changed because who the hell wouldn't go out with the hot alt girl? What the fuck? Here's a fact about Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is a, um, stinky poo-poo labor hand. Now see, this is very harsh, but I may be willing to change my mind if Mr. Beast gave me, um, 20 bucks. Yep. Please, someone said this to Mr. Beast. I need food! Here's a fact about Street Fighter. According to a poll by Capcom, the most popular Street Fighter character is basketball superstar Shaquille O'Neal! Just kidding, it's Sakura. Come on, you all knew that. Here's a fact about The Terminator. Arnold Schwarzenegger has gone on to say his iconic line from the film, I'll be back. In multiple films, including every Terminator sequel, Commando, becoming back in its sequel, and Arnold Schwarzenegger goes to the grocery store to buy milk, the movie. Here's a fact about Garfield. The Garfield comic strips originally starred John Arbuckle. 
This was changed after a godlike figure visited Jim Davis in the form of John's orange cat and told him to make the feline the star. Here's a fact about Sonic the Hedgehog. Ever since the game's first release, people have wondered how Eggman is able to run faster than Sonic when Sonic is trying to catch him. To answer this, we went straight to the creator himself, Yuji Naka, to ask why this was the case. He answered with, What are you doing in my prison cell? I don't know what that means. Here's a fact about Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas the Tank Engine- Oh. Oh, hold, hold on, everybody. Um, train's coming through. Um, this is gonna take a second. Alright, so, um... Sorry about that interruption, but, uh, because that took so long, I don't have time to, uh, finish the fact today. Sorry about that, everyone. Here's a fact about The Truman Show. Okay, guys, you need to bear with me, because, um, our captions guy is off of their rocker today. I don't know. You're the stinky one. What? What's your deal, man? What do you mean, Raze? I don't even pay you. Oh, wait. Oh, that's, that's the problem. Um, well, your paycheck is under there. <laughs> Here's a fact about sleeping. You can actually go up to a month without sleeping, and to prove this, I'm oh, doing it myself. Uh, I'm like on, oh, oh, um, day 16, 15, I don't. I don't know. Wish me, wish me luck. I'll check back in. I swear it's possible. I swear it's possible. All right. Don't, don't fucking doubt me. You facts about haters. I will come up to you directly to your house and go. Here's a fact about jackass. The final movie, Jackass Forever, is false advertising because it only lasts for an hour and 36 minutes. Here's another fact about Super Mario. So, I'm gonna be real, this is not a typical facts about episode. It is my birthday at the time of uploading this, and usually when someone else's birthday pops up, I like to send them the uh, Mario gif that you see in the background, um, except I can't send it to myself like I can, but like, you know what I mean. Um, so I decided to just put this in a video, um, but you know what, while you are here, um, give me a bit of a birthday gift, this isn't gonna be me like, mm, like this video please, um, what, like, topic would you like to see in effects about video, like, movie, show, like, what, what's your favorite thing that we haven't talked about on facts about, put that in the comments below, thank you. Here's a fact about Shrek. Animators on the Prince of Egypt would be punished by being sent to the Shrek dimension so Shrek could feast on their bones and flesh. This process was called getting Shrekt. Here's a fact about Kirby. King DDD has consistently made it on video gaming's top 10 sexiest characters 10 years in a row. Here's a fact about American Psycho. The film slash book is actually based off of me. Not because I'm a Sigma. No, it's because I'm crazy and have killed multiple people. Here's a fact about Naruto. His name's actually pronounced Naruto. Here's a fact about Pokemon. Good news, everybody. We at the Litter Channel have decided to translate every single facts about short into the Pokemon languages. That way, you can watch alongside your Pokemon. Let's start with Pikachu. Pika, 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 Pika. Next up. Charmander! Char! Charmander! How many of these do I have, do I have left? A thousand and thirteen. Never mind, I take it back. Here's another fact about Super Smash Brothers. The most requested characters for the next Smash game include Bandana Waddle Dee, which, he's a common enemy! What moveset are they gonna give him? It makes no sense! Phoenix Wright, which, He's a lawyer! How do you make a moose head out of that? Waluigi, which is a meme character! What the heck? Nobody wants a meme character in this game! 
and Rayman, who hasn't had a game in like 10 eons. Why would they put a character from a dead franchise in the game? My personal request for the next Smash game is to add Ball Monokuma. Here's a fact about Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld has athlete's foot. I definitely do not know this because I was searching up Jerry Seinfeld feet on Google, alright? I do not go looking for Mr. Seinfeld's feet only to find grody shrooms on his toes, alright? I just found this out doing scientific research, okay? I am not into feet. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Here's a fact about Moby D <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here's a fact about Moby... <laughs> Here's a fact about... <laughs> okay, 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 sorry. It's just... <laughs> Moby is just such a funny name. Like, who calls a whale, let alone anything Moby? Anyway, <clears throat> here's a fact about Moby Dick. Wait, wait, his last name's Dick? Moby Dick? <laughs> here's a fact about Ghostbusters. Stop watching Ghostbusters. It's extremely anti-ghost and problematic. Ghosts do not cause problems. They are just normal people, just like us. Do not bust ghosts. This fact's about short is brought to you by the King Boo and Flying Dutchman Ghost Invasion Enterprises. Here's a fact about Angry Birds. The game was inspired by the ancient art of Angry Bado, where Japanese warriors would toss birds at enemy structures in order to knock them down or create openings. Here's a fact about Dragon Ball. I see you idiots in my comment section saying that I'm spreading misinformation, so here's a true fact for ya. Goku's real, and I've sent him to your house to kick your ass. It was actually really easy, I just told him that you were a world-destroying demon disguised as a facts about hater. By the way, Goku knows all facts about shorts are real. Why don't you? Here's a fact about global warming. Global warming is all your fault. You're the reason we're burning. Just like what happened to Venus because you're so damn sexy. Can I get your number? Here's a fact about Nickelodeon All-Star Brawler. There are rumors of a sequel to the game, and I think I'll say what we're all thinking. This game better have 80 characters, including Sonic, Skipper, Goku, and Jeff. A subspace emissary style adventure mode, and unlockable rule 34 of every character, or we are not playing. Here's a fact about Pocahontas. The film got a lot of things wrong in relation to the actual events for history. For example, trees can't talk. Also, the whole thing with Pocahontas being 10 years old. But come on, trees can't talk! Here's a fact about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Instead of a fact, I would like to propose a cursed outcome of the future. With the booster course pack on its final wave, it could be entirely possible that the last cup in the pack will be all Rainbow Roads. There's only four of them that haven't been brought back for Deluxe, and the final cup will be themed after the blue shell, so if this is true, it will be the most Mario Kart thing ever. Stay afraid, Mario Carters. Here's a fact about chickens. Chickens aren't real. Oh, you know a friend who's seen a chicken? They're a government plant designed to make you think they're real. You've seen a chicken? Well, that's just the government putting drugs in your water. You have proof chickens are real? Obvious government propaganda. You can't win this battle of the brains. Here's a fact about Iggy's Wrecking Balls. I'm gonna be real, I doubt any of you have even heard of this game, so I can just say whatever I want and you'd probably believe it. But Facts About is about truth and real facts, so I'll give you a true fact. You play as Wrecking Squares. Here's a fact about The Naked Gun. In Europe, the film is just called The Gun. This is because guns don't wear clothes, so calling a gun naked is redundant. Here's a fact about Nerf Super Soakers. The iconic water guns were actually designed to shoot urine. However, it was marketed to shoot water because Nerf didn't want Karen narking onto them to the news. Here's a fact about Rocco's Modern Life. There's a banned episode where Heifer and Filbert summon the eldritch abomination Sponge Boy and damns the entire world to suffer for all eternity. The episode was banned because of a sex joke near the end of the episode. Here's another fact about Five Nights at Freddy's. Scott Cawthon, the creator of the series, is actually scared of Bonnie, going to so far to say that he's had nightmares where Bonnie was trying to sell him car insurance. Here's a fact about Half-Life. According to Gabe Newell, Half-Life 3 is under there. Here's another fact about Pikmin. 
Purple Pikmin were originally going to have big, thick, juicy asses. This was scrapped early in development. There have been rumors that a model of this original design exists, and if that's the case, I need someone to hack into Nintendo offices and give me that model. For education reasons, obviously. Here's a fact about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The scene where Wonka does a somersault was actually an accident after Gene Wilder tripped while filming the scene. He was not able to replicate this incident in retakes. Here's another fact about Star Wars. There's actually an episode 7, 8, and 9. It brought back the original cast and a variety of new characters. Why is anyone talking about these? I haven't seen them yet because I just learned about them, so I'm going to spend the next six hours watching this great trilogy. Wish me luck. Here's a fact about Oppenheimer. Originally, there was going to be a dance party at the end of the film, which would have been set to Op, 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 Oppenheimer style. Here's a fact about Team Fortress 2. There was going to be a 10th class at one point named Demo Man 2, who would have been exactly like the Demo Man, except his eye patch would have been on his left eye. Here's a fact about cows. Cows can speak full English. I swear. I once heard a cow say my full name and address once. You have to believe me, please! Here's a fact about Pikmin. I will be doing a challenge run of Pikmin 4 to celebrate its release, or I have to grow as many Pikmin as the amount of likes this video gets on both Instagram and YouTube, the amount of subscribers and followers I have on both platforms, and every single number of people in my Discord server. Also, for every dollar pledged to the Litter Channel Patreon, I will have to also grow a hundred more Pikmin, so feel free to make this as hard for me as you want. Here's a fact about Psychonauts. The meat circus level is based on a business endeavor by Tim Schafer where he would run circuses from tents made out of meat. This went as well as you think it would, and he went on to make games for LucasArts and eventually Double Fine. Here's a fact about Wallace and Gromit. According to Ardman Animation, Gromit isn't a dog, but just a weird looking dude. Here's a fact about Iron Man 2. Elon Musk makes a cameo during a scene in the movie as a friend of Tony Stark. However, he is never brought up again in any future MCU film. This is because Tony learns from his mistakes. Here's a fact about you. There is a 10 foot tall shadow creature behind you that only you can see. It moves around when you turn around and is so thin that it won't have to move when you put your back to the wall. Be sure not to say its name, though it it is a pretty common word. Here's a fact about Danganronpa. Originally, Monokuma was going to be ball shaped, but this was scrapped as it was too perfect. The ball design was later used as an enemy in the spin-off Ultra Despair Girls. Here's a fact about Ace Attorney. Bright and Edgeworth are dating. Hashtag not the onion. Here's a fact about Grand Theft Auto. There was a scrap feature from the game that was later added back called the Hot Coffee Mod in which you enjoy a nice cup of coffee. That's all. Nothing else. Here's another fact about Guilty Gear. The Season 3 pass has leaked. And we have... Leopoldin, Leopoldin 2, and no one else. They're not releasing a fourth character, all right? Screw you, ABBA fans. That's what you get for that one guy who bumped into me at the store who had an ABBA t-shirt on, all right? It wasn't actually the character. It was, it was the musician band, but like, uh, yeah, that's what you get. You don't get your character in the game. Ha <laughs> ha. Here's a fact about Delta. Oh. Oh yeah, um, last video some guy said uh, that they wanted explosions. Uh, this, this Sonic video was too underwhelming, I guess, so... Yeah, explosions. Um, this isn't gonna get irritating really fast. Um, yeah, let me, what's, what's up that? Oh, it just, it just says endure explosions. Like, it, like those quotation marks on so it's supposed to be that say that. Well, so Here's a fact about time loops. 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 Here's a fact about Snapple. The facts that are written on the bottle caps are written by us, so you know that they're true every single time. <laughs> Here's a fact about Simon Says. Touch your nose. Ah, then say Simon Says. Or did I? Even though they were separate statements. Argue in the comments. Here's a fact about Home Alone. The traps are actually really effective against home invaders, government or not. 
though you'll have to substitute some items. For example, you can replace the tiny cars with forks, or instead of a paint can, you can use a giant spike ball. You can usually find one in your basement. One of your ancestors need it. Instead of heating up the doorknob, you can cover it in radioactive sludge. Stay safe, facts about truthers. Here's a fact about Metroid. Did you know that Metroid's actually a girl? I'm just messing with you. I know. I know Samus is her name. Metroid's her last name. Here's a fact about the Princess Diaries. There is a long-running rumor that Anne Hathaway did not intend to slip on the bleachers in that one scene. However, what people don't tell you is that while this was unintentional on Anne's part, the bleachers were specifically rigged so that she would slip. Hashtag bench was an inside job. Here's a fact about the Black Mirror. The Black Mirror is ridiculous. That stuff would never happen. Like this video and subscribe to the Lawyer Channel as Strange Man will come to your home. Like, come on, man. I'm serious. Here's a fact about... The Avengers. The entire movie was improvised. Here's a fact about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Did you know that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are actually based off of real animals called turtles? Nah, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> turtles aren't real. Here's a fact about Kroger. The characters that appear in the ads are called Krogies. Because you totally care about the Krogies. Here's a fact about... Jurassic Park. Originally, the team behind the film wanted to use real-life dinosaurs instead of special effects. However, they were a bit late. Here's a fact about Rocky. The title fight against Creed is so iconic they made the day it happened a national holiday called Boxing Day. Here's a fact about the One Piece. I know what the One Piece is. I raided a certain office just now, and I have the One Piece in this bag in my hand right now. Let's open it up. It is w w woman's underwear, but, but this is a two-piece. Oh shit, I think I read in the wrong drawer. And the feds are outside my door. Here's a fact about jeans. Jeans and jean pockets were invented by Heinz so that there was a place for people to put their ketchup packets. Here's a fact about Predator. Predator was originally a more grounded film about a woman getting stalked by some weird guy. But John Predator didn't like the call out, so the movie was changed to the film we all know and love today. Here's a fact about Has Been Hotel. During the pilot, Charlie claims that Inside Every Demon is a rainbow. However, during the show, it is shown that this is not the case, as Inside Every Demon is blood. Here's a fact about the hole that pays people to tell people to jump in it. You should really jump in the hole, not because it paid me to do it, um, because it'll pay you to jump in it. Yep. There's treasure and also, um, medicine for your sick grandma, so jump in the hole, please. Here's a fact about Jeff Shorts. Jeff is- YOU! Huh? You're the one who's been spreading misinformation. No. Alright, in that case, what were you going to say? Yeah, let's take a look at your script. Here's a fact about Jeff Shorts. Jeff is a really totally cool guy who wasn't responsible for the destruction of Australia. All right, checks out. Wait, wait, what? But, but, uh, listen, kid, misinformation isn't misinformation if it doesn't say anything bad about Jeff Co. If anything bad is said about Jeff Co., it's misinformation. Got it? Masshole's like, I don't get ten times the viewers they do on this channel. That's it, sucker! Wait, 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 wait! Here's another fact about Plants vs. Zombies. Oh no! It is the dive rocket launcher! Take action regarding that individual! Relax. I'll handle it. I am the angry pumpkin. <laughs> the architect and the builder. They arrive calmly from their escalator with a sense of purpose. They are playing at the resident. The head is soaring! Here's another fact about Sonic the Hedgehog. There's a new game starring Sonic and Shadow. For more information, Google Sonic X Shadow. But hold on, hold on, I'm gonna go. What do you mean there's actually a game called Sonic X Shadow? N now the joke doesn't work, they're just gonna get shit for a game and not some weird fan art. Why, why would they call it that? It's a remaster of Generations? Yeah, that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, fact cancelled, whatever. Here's a fact about Smiling Friends. The series was created by prolific creators Michael Cusack, Zach Hadel, also known as Psychic Pebbles Online, and Glonwin. Here's a fact about aliens. So you want to know definitively if aliens are real? Well, I got your answer right here. Aliens are- This is the voice of Rilla. 
part of the intergalactic space group. For many years, we have seen your digital commodities, and they are not up to the standard of the intergalactic space group. However, the group known as the Litter Channel has created digital commodities up to snuff. You must follow the Litter Channel and check out their really cool digital commodities. Furlon out, bro. Well, there's your answer. Here's a fact about the Wolf of Wall Street. Despite the jokes throughout the years, an actual wolf does appear in the film. During the scene in the background of the short, actually, right about now. Here's a fact about Batman. His name is actually Buttman. Alright boss, how was that? Excellent! Now nobody will take the Batman seriously. It's pretty funny. Hey, what's that timer? Oh, that's to show how long the recording is. So it's still recording? Y yeah, but we, we can edit it out in the post, so you don't have to worry about a thing, Mr. J. Oh, I better not. Here's a fact about Fire Emblem. The Tome Nosferatu is actually named after the character from Spongebob who flicks the lights off and on again. Here's a fact about Thor. There was a scrap sequel to Thor called Thor the Dark World, which would have followed Thor and Loki teaming up to take revenge on Malachi, a villain from the comics for killing their mother. The film was cancelled because it wasn't up to MCU standards. Here's a fact about Adventure Time. The entire show takes place in a dream. This fact also applies to Spongebob, Fairly Odd Parents, Regular Show, Regrats, Both Avatar Shows, One Piece, The George Lopez Show, Has Been Hotel, Pikmin 2, Breaking Bad, Dragon Ball Z, Jeff Short, Schindler's List, Yesterday, and, um, Adventure Time. Here's a fact about Coca-Cola. Originally, Magic Fairy Dust was added to Coca-Cola, however, when the Magic Council found out, the Coca-Cola company passed it off as cocaine to get the council off their back, and it has not been put in the drink since. Here's a fact about E.T. the Extraterrestrial. E.T. is modeled after Steven Spielberg's balls. Here's a fact about Die Hard. There is going to be a Die Hard musical, including songs such as The Ventilation March and This is Technically a Christmas Carol. Here's a fact about American Psycho. The meetings between Detective Kimball and Patrick Bateman are three takes spliced together. One where Kimball knows Bateman's the killer, another where he suspects he's the killer, and one where he's sexually aroused by Bateman. Here's a fact about Avatar, The Last Airbender. The live-action show will not make Sokka sexist because he actually understands a woman's pain, and is a feminist, and thinks giving birth is worse than a kidney stone, and thinks the wage gap is bad. He's 6'3", by the way. Here's a fact about Breaking Bad. Good news, Breaking Bad fans. You can buy the iconic product from the series. Just come into the Sally. As long as you're not a narc. Here's a fact about Chuck E. Cheese. The original Chuck E. Cheese design was scary. Ah, so sexy. I mean, scary. Like, really hot. I mean, horrifying. Just like Freddy Hot Bear. That, that's his name now, by the way. That, that was intentional. Here's a fact about Dune. Dune is, wait, wait, this isn't the right Dune. This is 1984 box office failure Dune. Here's a fact about Jodorowsky's Dune. Wait, this, this isn't the right Dune either. This is a documentary. Here's a fact about Planet Dune. No. Here's a fact about Devils and Dune. No. Here's a fact about Dune Drifter. N not it either. Here's a fact about the Dunes. Are these even real? Here's a fact about Dune. That's just an actual Dune. Okay, okay, okay. I've got it. I've got it. Here's a fact about Dune Part 2. There's sand everywhere! Green Hill's looking a lot like Dune Hill. Here's a fact about Finding Nemo. Bruce says that he never knew his father. This is because when male sharks mate with a female shark, they leave to get a gallon of milk. But since there are no stores underwater, the male shark never returns. Here's a fact about Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda is actually a buff of a movie called Little Panda Fighter. This fact's about Shore was brought to you by Video Ben Credo makers of films such as The Little Cars, Ratatouille, and the, the Little Panda Fighter. Here's a fact about Megamind. Originally, Megamind was going to end off the movie by saying, By the way, if a film called Megamind vs. the Doom Syndicate comes out in 2024, do not watch it. It will be terrible. It was cut because the directors did not think that would happen. Here's a fact about Multiverses. Multiverses is back! 
And they better add new characters. Oh, they've improved the gameplay? Better add new characters. Oh, they have a PvE mode? Doesn't matter if there are any new characters to enjoy it with. Oh, also I must add that every character has to be exclusively from things I like because heaven forbid anyone has different tastes in media than me. Billions must be added. Here's a fact about Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. The long-awaited film is, as of the posting of this short, in theaters right now. Go watch it, Spider-Fans! Here's a fact about X-Men. There's a scrapped X-Men named Bulls Guy. His power was to make people say Bulls, like I'm saying it right now. He was removed because he was deemed too overpowered. Here's a fact about Facts About. Hooray! It's been one year of only the truest of facts. But since it's also April Fool's Day, just a coincidence, I swear, I can say that these are only the falsest of facts. As a joke, of course.